Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this packet tracer activity. SRWE, that is a switching, routing and wireless essentials. Packet tracer practice skills assessment, part one. A few things to keep in mind while completing this activity. Uh, do not use the browser back button or close or reload any exam windows during the exam. Do not close packet tracer when you are done. It will close automatically. Then click the submit assessment button in the browser window to submit your work. Introduction. In this assessment, you are configuring a network that is using a third channel and routing between VLANs. For the sake of time, you will not be asked to perform all configurations of the network devices as you may, may be required to do in a real network or other assessment. Instead, you will use the skills and knowledge that you have learned in the labs in this course to configure the router and the switches in the topology. In addition to uh, a third channel and inter VLAN routing, this task involves creating VLANs and trunks and performing basic router and switch configuration. You are required to configure host default gateways. However, host addresses are pre-configured. Okay. Uh, you will practice and be assessed on the following skills. Configuration of initial settings on a router. Configuration of initial settings on a switch including SBI. Uh, switch virtual interface and SSH, then configuration of VLANs, configuration of a switch port a VLAN membership, a third channel configuration, troubleshooting VLANs, configuration of a static trunking and DTP, configuration of routing between VLANs on a layer 3 switch, configuration of router on a stick inter VLAN routing on a router. Then configure a default gateway on host. Here we can see addressing table, uh, edge router, L3, SW1, then other devices. And when you open this activity, you may get uh, different uh, device names or maybe different IP address and submit mask. So you should configure as per the addressing table you get. Background. A corporation is planning to implement a third channel and a new VLAN design in order to make the network more efficient. You have been asked to work on a design and prototype of the new network. You have created the logical topology and now need to configure the devices in order to evaluate the design. You will configure VLANs and access port VLAN membership on access layer switches. You will also configure a third channel and trunking. Finally, we will configure a router and a layer 3 switch to route between VLANs. Some addressing had already been configured. So here we will uh, configure only the skills you learned in this uh, specific course. So here are the given instructions. Part 1, basic router configuration. Step 1, configure router that is edge router with the required settings. So here we can see our edge router. Uh, you may get uh, some other name here or maybe the same name. So you have to uh, follow the instruction. Open a command window on router edge router and move to privileged exit mode. Then copy and paste the following configuration into the edge router, router CLI. Be sure to press the enter key after the last line to return to privileged exit mode prompt. So just we will copy all these commands and uh, we will paste in edge router, global configuration mode. Here we can see this specified in privileged exit mode, but we have to give this command in a global configuration mode. We will copy these commands. Then coming to edge router. Enable conf t
we are going to paste these uh, commands here and here we can see we have to press enter again so that we get this uh, global configuration uh, mode prompt configure the following settings on the router the enable secret password we will do it one by one enable secret and here they did not specify the password so we can set our own password we will give a class then a console password we will go to line console zero password cisco then login command then remote access to the VTY lines. We'll go to line VTY 0 to 15. Set the password as Cisco. Then a login. A banner MOTD message. Message of the day. We have to go to global configuration mode banner MOTD then we have to give the message and authorized access is prohibited the device host name according to the value in the addressing table so here we can see this is edge router edge router we will set this host name here host name edge router all clear text passwords should be encrypted here is the command service password encryption dash encryption interface addressing on g0 slash 0 slash 0 and serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 also we must uh, set interface descriptions on these interfaces they given a note be sure to make a record of the passwords that you create yes so uh, we must remember the password be given for enable secret then a line console and line bty we will go to our addressing table and here we can see uh, those interfaces they specified g0 slash 0 slash 0 we will go to that interface interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 we can activate this interface no shutdown then IP address so make sure that you give the address given in the addressing table so here I have 10.0.0.1 then to mask 10.0.0.1 and a serial interface interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 Activate the interface, now shut down. Press enter again to get the prompt. Then set the IP address. Here we can see its IP address. So if you get any uh, messages like this, you can press tab button from the keyboard uh, so that you will get the uh, commands you typed here. So IP address. 209.165.201.2 then to mask then press enter as per the instruction we must set uh, description for uh, both interfaces so here we can see now we are in serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 which is uh, connecting to this uh, ISP we can give a description
connected to ISP okay then we can go to interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 then we will set the description so this interface is connected to l3 dash sw1 now coming to part 2 basic switch configuration step 1 configure a remote management addressing configure svi 99 on a switch sw dash c with ip addressing according to the addressing table then the sw dash c switch svi should be reachable from other networks that means uh, we should configure the default gateway also coming to our addressing table So here we can see SW-C uh, interface VLAN 99 and we can see its address. Click on SW-C. Enable configure terminal. Then go to interface VLAN 99. Then set the IP address. It's here. Ten dot zero dot ninety nine dot eighteen. Then submit to mask. Also, we should set the uh, default gateway exit from this interface mode then we have to give ip default gateway then we have to give the default gateway coming to our topology here we can see this uh, sw dash c is connected to edge router and the interface is g0 slash 0 slash 1 so coming to our edge router here we can see g0 slash 0 slash 1 they configured the sub interfaces and uh, here we can see we set ip address for the uh, vlan 99 here we can copy the ip address of uh, uh, vlan i mean the sub interface g0 slash 0 slash 1.99 so this is the default gateway 10.0.99 99.17 in step 2 configure secure remote access on switch sw c configure ssh as follows so we have to create the username as admin then password as c1 sco123 then exclamation we will go to sw c then in global configuration mode username as admin then password c in caps so make sure that you type uh, they given in the instruction so c1 sco123 exclamation then press enter then here we can see modulus uh, bits 1024 before that we will set this uh, ip domain name ip domain name they given acad.pt now we will create crypto key generate rsa modulus they give, given here 1024 so give that press enter again so here we can see ssh 1.99 has been enabled and here we will set the version ip ssh version 2 all vty lines should accept ssh connections only we should go to 
line vty 0 to 15 that means all the lines and here we will give a transport input ssh only so we give uh, give ssh connections should require the previously configured username and password so we have to give the command login local here to score the maximum mark we have to configure uh, this uh, username and password uh, as uh, privileged level uh, entry so here we have to give like this just exit then here we have to give a username the given admin then we have to give privilege uh, we can set the uh, level 15 then secret here they given the password c1 sco123 exclamation right here we get an error message cannot have both a user password and a user secret so first we will remove this uh, username and password we created so just to copy this username admin password this password just copy here we have to give no that means we are going to remove it then paste it username and the password then press enter then we are going to create this username admin privilege 15 secret cisco 123 so i will copy this and paste here then press enter so now uh, we cannot see any error message also we will set enable a secret password here enable sorry enable secret then we will give the password we will give this password c1 sco 123 then press enter now coming to part 3 vlan configuration step 1 configure vlans according to the vlan table use the vlan table to create and name the vlans on the appropriate uh, switches so here we can see vlan table we have vlan 10 20 30 40 50 60 and 99 also we can see its name ip network to mask and devices here in a uh, switch a that is sw a uh, we have to configure vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 coming to sw a enable configure terminal we'll create vlan 10 then name b1 f1 then vlan 20 name b1 f2 vlan 30 name is b1 f4 then in sw b uh, we have to configure vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 enable configure terminal vlan 10 give the name as b1 f1 exactly given here in this uh, name field name column vlan 20 name is b1 f2 vlan 30 name is b1 f4 in sw-c 
uh, we have to create these VLANs VLAN 40, 50, 60 and 99 VLAN 40 Name B3 VLAN 50 Name is B4 VLAN 60 Name is B5 VLAN 99 Name is uh, Net Admin Then in L3-SW1, we have to create VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30 and VLAN 99. Coming to this uh, switch. Enable configure terminal VLAN 10. Its name is B1F1. VLAN 20. Its name is B1F2 VLAN 30 Name is B1F4 Then VLAN 99 Name is a net admin Then assign VLAN membership to static access switch ports according to the port to VLAN assignment table. So here we can see that port to VLAN assignment table and uh, they given the port assignments and its uh, uh, VLAN. So first of all we will do it in SW-A. Here we have to go to these interfaces. Interface as a range FA0 slash 7 dash 10. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10. Here we can see uh, we must assign to VLAN 10. Interface as a range FA0 slash 11 till 15. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 20. Then VLAN 30, we should go to interface as a range FA0 slash 16 till 24. Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. Next, we will do it in SW B. We will go to interface as a range FA 0 slash 7 till 10. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 10 then go to interface as a range FA0 slash 11 till 15 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 Just to make sure that uh, you give the correct ports. 
next is here interface as a range fs euro slash 16 till 24 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 30 finally we will go to sw dash c interface fa 0 slash 1 dash 5 so interface as a range fa 0 slash 1 dash 5 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 40 then interface as a range fa 0 slash 6 dash 10 vlan 50 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 50 next is fa 0 slash 11 till 15 interface as a range fa 0 slash 11 till 15 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 16 then here we can see a net admin native fs zero slash 24 this interface fa0 slash 24 interface fa0 slash 24 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 99 and uh, we get this message line protocol all interface vlan 99 changed state to up now coming to part four a third channel and trunking configuration a third channel port assignments table so uh, we have to uh, configure this a third channel we can see channel group one two three then devices in group also ports in groups step one configure a third channels Create Ether channels according to the Ether channel port assignments table. So here we can see that table. Use the Cisco LACP protocol. Both sides of the channel should attempt to negotiate the link protocol. First of all, we will configure in this uh, multi-layer switch. And here we can see L3-SW1 interfaces G1-0-1 and 2 and the channel group is 1 click on this l3-sw1 enable configure terminal we will go to those interfaces as a range g1-0-1-2 create the channel group one mode active then the other side which is connecting to sw dash b uh, interfaces g1 slash 0 slash 3 and 4 so we will go to those interfaces as a range g1 slash 0 slash 3 dash 4 channel group to mode active
then we will do it on sw a here we can see channel group 1 sw a enable configure terminal we will go to interface as a range it's a g0 slash 1 dash 2 channel group 1 mode active then here we can see sw dash a fa0 slash 5 and fa0 slash 6 go to interface as a range fa0 slash 5 dash 6 channel group 3 mode active Finally, coming to SW B. Enable configure terminal. We will go to interface as a range. And here we can see SW B. G0 slash 1 dash 2. Channel group 2. Mode active. Then go to interface as a range fa0 slash 5 dash 6. Channel group 3 mode active. In step 2, configure trunking on ether channels. Configure the port channel interfaces as static trunks. Disable DTP negotiation on all trunks. Troubleshoot any issues that prevent the information of the ether channels. The given a note, a packet tracer requires configuration of a trunking and DTP mode on both port channel interfaces and the uh, component physical interfaces. First of all, we will configure in this uh, L3 SW1 interface port channel 1 then we will give a switch port mode trunk and here we can see we get this message command rejected an interface whose trunk encapsulation is auto cannot be configured to trunk mode so here we have to configure switch port mode dynamic desirable Also, uh, we need to configure port channel 2 interface port channel 2. Here we cannot give a switch port mode trunk. Before that, we have to give a switch port mode dynamic desirable. No, these two uh, ports are in dynamic desirable. That means, uh, you know, in uh, dynamic uh, trunking uh, protocol mode. So uh, we have to configure it manually, static trunk. So here first we will give switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q. Then we can give a switch port mode trunk. The same way we can go to interface port channel 1, switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q, 
switch port mode trunk next we will go to this sw a so here we will go to interface port channel one switch port mode trunk also we can go to uh, interface port channel 3 switch port mode trunk then we will go to sw dash b interface port channel 2 switch port mode trunk also we'll go to interface port channel 3 switch port mode trunk Here, this specified to disable uh, DTP negotiation. So, uh, we should do that. Uh, we will go to SW-A. Okay, now we are in port channel 3. So, here we can see interface port channel 3. So, here we can give switch port no negotiate. Then we can go to interface port channel 1 switch port no negotiate the same way we can go to sw dash b here we can see already we are in port channel 3 switch port no negotiate also we will go to interface port channel 2 switch port no negotiate even we can configure uh, no negotiate in this uh, l3 dash sw1 also so here now we are in interface port channel 1 switch port no negotiate also we will go to interface port channel 2 switch port and no negotiate coming to step 3 configure a static trunk uplink on the sw-c switch configure the port that is connected to edge-router a g0 slash 0 slash 0 as a static trunk configure the net admin vlan as the native vlan that is uh, vlan 99 then disable dtp on the port we will do that here we can see it is connected to g0 slash 1 so click on sw dash c we will go to that interface enable so we have to give the password here we have to give this password we set uh, we given this password c1 sco123 uh, exclamation so we have to give that
configure terminal go to interface g0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk also we have to configure the native vlan switch port trunk native vlan 99 then a switch port no negotiate Now we will go to part 5. Configure inter VLAN routing. Step 1. Configure inter VLAN routing on the layer 3 switch. That is in this switch L3-SW1. Configure inter VLAN routing on the L3-SW1 layer 3 switch for all VLANs in the VLAN table that are configured on L3-SW1. Also, we need to configure the switch port on L3-SW1 that is connected to edge-router with an IP address as shown in the addressing table. Right, so uh, we will go to our addressing table. Here we can see L3-SW1. We will configure it one by one. Uh, we can see the interface g1 slash 1 slash 1 which is connected to this uh, edge router you will go to interface g1 slash 1 slash 1 so here we have to give no switch port then we have to set the ip address 10. 0 0.0.2 0 .2. then something to mask just to keep in mind all the ports in multi-layer switches uh, are in a switch port so we have to give this command no a switch port uh, to change it to a rooted port so we given that command here uh, for the interface g1 slash 1 slash 1 uh, which is connected to this uh, edge router and then uh, we have to set the ip address otherwise we cannot set ip address for the uh, physical uh, switch port now we will configure these uh, vlans vlan 10 interface vlan 10 set the ip address 10.0.10.1 submit to mask then go to interface vlan 20 ip address 10.0.20.1 with the submit mask then go to interface vlan 30 ip address 10.0.30.1 then submit mask Now we will go to interface VLAN 99 then IP address 10.0.99.2 then sum to mask And we have to remember one more thing, uh, these multi-layer switches are not forwarding IP by default. So we must enable that. So go to this uh, L3-SW1, exit from this uh, interface mode and here we have to give this command IP routing. Next we will go to step 2. Configure router on a stick inter VLAN routing on a router. 
so in this edge router configure inter vlan routing on edge router for all the vlans that are configured on the sw c switch use the information in the addressing table then be sure to configure descriptions of all interfaces okay we will do that in addressing table here we can see edge router and its sub interfaces first we will configure this sub interface g0/0/1.40 coming to our edge router password cisco enable password class configure terminal uh, we will go to interface g0/0/1.40 uh, first sub interface then encapsulation dot one q uh, we have to specify the vlan id it is 40 then we have to set the ip address 10.0.40.1 with the submit to mask also we will set the description vlan 40 now we will go to interface g0 slash 0 slash 1.50 so just we can copy this command or we can press up arrow so that we will get the previous commands we entered so just a copy and paste here and uh, this is vlan id 50 then we have to give the ip address we have to change to 50 then we have to set the description vlan 50 then a next sub interface 60 then encapsulation dot one q 60 then ip address it's a 10 dot 0 dot 60 dot 1 then we have to set the description vlan 60 also interface g0 slash 0 slash 1.99 encapsulation dot 1 q id is 99 and this is native so we must specify native here then ip address uh, it's a uh, 99 dot 17 and sub to mask it's uh, 240 here here we can see then set the description we are 99 here all these sub interfaces are administratively down so uh, we have to activate all these interfaces for that we have to go to the actual physical interface that is interface g0 slash 0 slash 1 and we have to activate this physical interface using no shutdown command so that here we can see all the sub interfaces also activated finally uh, we are coming to step 3 configure default gateways on host configure default gateway addresses on all host on the lans verify connectivity between all host on the both lans with each other and the outside server verify that a host can connect to the svi of switch sw c over ssh we will set default gateway uh, on all these uh, host so here we can see uh, these PCs WS-1.1, 1.2 and 
uh, connected to this uh, L3 SW1. Okay, here we can see this species in VLAN 10. So it's a default gateway VLAN 10 10.0.10.1. .10 so we can configure it here. And here also we can see VLAN 10 WS-1.4. Set that. Then VLAN 20. 10.0.20.1 20.1 here VLAN 20 20.1 VLAN 30 10.0.30.1 30.1 VLAN 30 okay then here we can see these uh, PCs in VLAN 40, 50, 60 they are connected to this uh, edge router VLAN 40 10.0.40.1 okay then this is in vlan 50 that is 50.1 50.1 then here we have 60 60.1 then this management pc it is in vlan 99 99.17 so here we completed all the configurations on all the devices and we can see completion status it shows 100 percentage here we can attest to the connectivity by using this add symbol pdu or you can ping from one pc to another pc we are going to ping from here to here you can see successful vlan 10 to vlan 20 so if it's failed don't worry you can click double click on this uh, you know uh, color so that it's successful or we can resend it again it's failed just delete and send it again so it's successful we can send it to other pcs it's working okay uh, we can try from this vlan 10 to vlan 40 but we can see it's failed so actually uh, we need to configure uh, static routing or dynamic routing uh, here we will uh, configure the static routing enable actually this information is not given in the instruction but uh, to test the connectivity end to end connectivity uh, we will configure it configure terminal then uh, ip root we will configure the default root 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 space 0 0.0.0.0 space exit interface g1 slash 1 slash 1 then we can test the connectivity now it's successful we can try again successful again we can try okay 
we can try from vlan 10 to vlan 99 management to pc try again successful also we can try to ping to our outside server it's working perfect try it again or double click on this uh, color great so we configured uh, this um, uh, practice skills assessment successfully now dear friends if you have any doubt or suggestions you can contact us or you can uh, message us all the details you will get in the description below stay tuned we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.